Hello everyone and welcome again to my Final Fantasy XIV Let's Play. I'm indeed at Neon Genesis and as you can see we are now hit the mission, the level 49 mission at Cape Westwind. Now this is from people who may just be wondering what the fight's like. This fight will be over relatively quickly. Now in this fight there's going to be, it's an 8 man instance or an 8 man dungeon. Not really a dungeon as such, just more of a, more of a fight. Again, I'm going to be skipping the cutscenes, as always. Routine in my videos, if anyone's not watched them before. As you can see, we've got an eight-man dungeon, or eight-man fight. We're going to be fighting this fella just in front of us. Now, a few people are still in cutscenes, so I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to sit back and, uh, you know, wait for them to watch their cutscene. If it's your first time... I see, I'm... I'm I'm a bit half and half of that. Personally, I'd view the cutscenes later in the inn. Not that it's the same, but just to save anyone else waiting, because I'd feel bad that someone was waiting here. So we've got a few new people to the um to this instance as well. But it's really not gonna take us that long to do this. So at this stage of the game you wanna be looking at your hot bar and possibly thinking of changing them and Putting them to the way that you would find easy for you to use. Almost some of the cutscenes. Nice little view as well. So if you don't know where we are actually, um, this is Cape Westwind here, so it's in uh, West Western Athanlan. So you've got, you've got the um, Vesper Bay here. Follow this round and you'll actually activate it in here at Cape Westwind. I'm still waiting for the cutscene. <laughs> uh, gonna let them have their moment. Let them view their cutscene. So we've got me, Paladin. We've got a, uh, a warrior, white mage, scholar. Monk, Dragoon, Ninja, Black Mage. Now that could that could not be any more balanced in my eyes. That's a decently balanced party. So this video is probably not going to go on for too long. As I said before, it's more of a, just a quick guide and a quick sort of quick reference to what the fight's like. Personally, I've only done this fight a few times myself. It's not one of those fights that I go back and do repeatedly. Although, if you do do this fight, you can end up with the card. So I'm going to main tank him. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on on the screen right now. And his HP is flying down. He's, what, he's up already, what, 80% health? And he's not really hurting me that much. So it's a very, very quick fight. Now in just a few mo few moments, a few ads in near the uh, gate there where we spawned in. They're going to appear, as you can see in the distance there. Now we're probably, if I know what's going to happen, we're probably going to just ignore them. And just keep going. And as you can see, he's really not posing us any problem. Now he does do fires of missiles into the air. Now in a minute you'll see a giant AoE. That's your cue to move out of the way, so get ready for it. Now I'm not sure if hologram will help on that, but you can always try it. There's the big AoE. Yep, magic missiles, zero damage to me. Now I timed the... Um, Missiles, sorry, I timed the uh, missiles perfectly there to put my hollowed ground on. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much the end of the fight. It was very, very swift, to be honest. I'm not going to uh, show the cutscene, of course, I don't want to do any spoilers. So, that's the end of the fight, guys. That is it. That is Cape Westwind in a nutshell. Um, I hope this video has somewhat helped you. Um, if it has, please leave a comment, leave a like. You can follow me on Twitter, the link is down below in the description. And if you want to see more of me, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy gaming, guys!